Happy 2019, everyone. All you'll need for this month is a mat. So go ahead and get your mat and let's get started. First exercise is a downward dog to a Spider-Man lunge, adding on a T-spine rotation. We're gonna do it 10 times alternating. So push back into a downward dog, keeping your heels as flat as you can on the floor. Then you're gonna step into a lunge, make sure you don't step on your fingers, that hurts, and then rotate your T-spine, making sure you look up. Step back, step into your lunge, and rotate looking up. Keep going. If you'll notice, I'm doing a pretty good job right now with the looking up. For some reason, at some point during the demonstration, I stopped rotating my head. Make sure you keep rotating yours. The next exercise is going to be a bottoms up squat to a hamstring stretch. If you can't reach your toes, that's okay. You can put your hands on your quads, your knees, your shins, or all the way under your toes as I'm demonstrating here. You're going to sit down into a deep squat, keeping your chest high, dropping your hips, and then keeping a hold of your legs wherever you're holding on. You're going to stretch up into a hip hinge and a hamstring stretch. We're going to do this 10 times. Make sure you look up as you sit down. The next exercise is going to be an in place alternating knee hug. I want you to try to lift your knee as high as you can before you grab onto it and keep your chest lifted. So make sure you're not taking your chest down to your knee, but rather your knee up to your chest. Stay nice and tall, looking forward, and make sure that you don't let the chin drop. We're going to do this 20 times. The next exercise is a dynamic quad stretch. You're going to stay in place just like the knee hug, but this time you'll be flexing your knee and grabbing your ankle. Try to stay really tall and keep the knees close together. Lift up the foot as high as you can before you grab it. We're going to do 20 alternating. Next, we're gonna move back down to the ground and work on the bear crawl hold. This time, we're going to challenge you a little bit more by adding on an alternating shoulder flexion. If you find this to be too difficult, you can just hold the bear crawl. Lift your knees about an inch off of your mat. Hold and stabilize. Lift your thumb to the ceiling and alternate. Try to keep the movement in your lower back 
and your hips to a minimum. We're gonna do this 20 times, then we're gonna rest and we're gonna do it again. Get back into that bear crawl hold position and get ready for 20 more reps. Again, make sure that your thumb is facing the ceiling. We wanna get a little bit of external rotation of that shoulder. Go ahead and transition into the tall kneeling position. Make sure your hips are extended and your toes are tucked under. Put your hands in prisoner position and we're gonna do a tall kneeling T-spine rotation, but we're gonna add on an elbow dip this time. So rotate slowly, keeping your hips in place, rotating the T-spine and then dip the elbow to the side you just rotated. We're gonna do this 10 times. Let's work on some balance along with our hip hinge. We're gonna utilize that knee lift, but this time instead of grabbing your knee, you're just going to lift it on your own and then transition to a balance and a Romanian deadlift. So lift the knee and then transition into that hip hinge. Try not to put your foot down, but if you have to, tap it down just for a second and move on to the next rep. We're only gonna do five on each side. and go ahead and switch to the other side. So high knee lift, and then right into that hip hinge. Five reps. Hop down to the floor and get ready to get back into downward dog position. Push back into that downward dog position. Get your heels as flat on the floor as you can and get your knees as straight as you can. And then alternate tapping right arm to left ankle and then left arm to right ankle. Try to minimize the movement in the hips and emphasize the movement in the thoracic spine. We're gonna do 10 and then we'll rest and do 10 more. Take a quick break and then get right back into that downward dog position. We're going to do 10 more alternating reps. So hips are way back, heels are pressing down to the floor, head is in alignment with the spine, and then alternate tapping right arm to left ankle left arm to right ankle, 10 times.
that's the end of your warm-up. Stay tuned for some exciting news.